Amazingly, more than 70 years later, you can still see traces of some of these camps. This terrace here was made into the palace camp, and the fence ran down the middle of the road over there. You can still see the squares in the tarmac where the posts that held the barbed wire fence once stood. There's more evidence of the camps behind the hotels. In the back lane, you can still see old railway lines sticking out of the cliff. These had rolls of barbed wire attached to them to stop the internees climbing the cliffs to escape. Looking out from the backs of the hotels, the climb to freedom must have seemed very tempting. In Hutchinson Square in Upper Douglas, there are still actual pieces of the barbed wire that form the perimeter of the camp. And on the Murat Promenade in Ramsey, where that first camp was opened, the filled-in post holes are still visible. 